What have we here? These are foldable electric bikes. Well, let's face it, RVers have a love-hate relationship with bikes. Yeah, it's because you really want to have the bike so that you can easily go around the campground or do a short errand, but you got to figure out how to carry it. How to transport them, how to secure them. You don't want to go to Walmart with two bikes hanging on, hanging off the back of your Jeep. Just is a real pain. The first time we took bikes with us, um, on an RV trip was in 2016 and we had a Monaco diesel pusher motorhome and a Jeep Wrangler, cute little Wrangler that we had. And we put two bikes, my hybrid and Derek's uh, black road bike on the back of the Jeep and off we went. We got to Las Vegas. And, and we, we had to do some repairs on our aqua hot system there in Las Vegas. So we stayed in a hotel for a few days. We thought, oh, bikes are locked up on the back of the Jeep. They'll be fine. No. Not so much, no. They'd cut the cable, took this, the one that was close to the car, which- Skipped over mine yeah. and took his. Thank in you, any case, in any we case. went ahead and bought another bike, secured it on with two kryptonite um, bike locks. And Didn't have any problem with them being on stolen after that. <laughs> the problem was, is that we found, we actually gave the bikes more of a ride on the, mo on the Jeep than we rode the bikes. Yep. Just didn't, we just didn't use them a lot. Let's just get this right out of the way. I am flat out a terrible biker. I didn't grow up riding a bike. I had a nervous mother, which made me more nervous. Um, by the time I was 11 or so, we lived outside of town and she was like, uh, uh you're not riding the bike. So I didn't grow up riding a bike. I rode a bike all the time. I lived in suburbia. Me and my friends and I, we just went everywhere with bikes. Yeah. You rode them in high school, we rode them in college, on his LDS mission in Germany. You rode yep. bikes everywhere. Bikes everywhere. He can ride them, fix them, maintain them. Do there's pretty much nothing he can't do with bikes. Toward the end of 2018, I learned about a Pedego electric bike, and started looking around and ended up buying a beautiful blue Pedego electric bike. And I thought this is going to solve the problem. Um, I can't keep up with him on a regular bike, uh, but this one has pedal assist, it cruise, and all kinds of cool stuff, um, and it worked at first but my nervousness got in the way again and on Memorial Day 2019 I ended up having a bike accident I broke a bone and the side of my knee called the tibial plateau and I ended up in a knee immobilizer for the entire summer so that shot that idea I thought well maybe maybe we, you know well she'll get comfortable with it again and we can while we're traveling we can use the use the bike so we right. we took them with us well, on, on a trip to Tennessee I couldn't do it I couldn't I couldn't ride it so we traded it for a trike a pedego electric trike which was great but if we thought the pedego bike was heavy oh my the trike is goodness. even heavier yeah oh my gosh. it's super heavy it's I mean with the pedego bikes well, I could pick them up put them on the rack with the trike it took both of us to mm -hmm. get it up on the rack and managing it on and off and on and off and on and off and taking the rack off and putting the rack back on. It was just that constant management that just really was frustrating. And we know that a lot of you have had that same problem. I've heard the same comment from people like Less Junk More Journey and KYD and a lot of the others, they have the same problem. Uh, it's just what to do with managing the bikes. Now, we did consider the possibility of a bike rack on the back of the motorhome. The motorhome so, already has a long overhang from the back mm -hmm. wheels to the back bumper. And this would extend that overhang by an extra four feet. Right, so. and we just didn't want to do that. So for some people that may work. For us, it didn't. So just if you're wondering, well, why didn't you put it on the back of the motorhome? That's why we didn't want to add that additional um, length to the motorhome and have to worry about that. Given all that, that's sort of the background. A couple of weeks ago, when I was in Costco, I noticed that they had these, these little foldable electric bikes that were pretty inexpensive, $330 for an electric bike. That's pretty good. And so I came home and we looked it up on YouTube and read some reviews and, 
And uh, we thought, yeah, this looks like it might work pretty good. So we decided to get two of them. I put one together. I tried it out, it looked, worked well for me. Peggy tried it, you felt comfortable, mm -hmm. so I put the other one together. Now we have two little fold-up bikes that easily fit inside the Jeep. Take a look. It's a charger. So a charger. Just undoing the zip or the little twisty ties on the mm -hmm. cable. And I'm just gonna hit plugs in over on this side. It has a little button thing that you open up and then you just plug it in. Okay, so and let's guess, take a look at the controls here. What do we got? It's the on-off switch. Right, I, I didn't turn it on. Okay, so you just, but that is the on-off switch. That's the on-off switch. And that's the battery charger indicator over there. Yeah, that's the charge. And then this is where you can turn on the light and set the, uh, the cruise. Okay, and then where's the twist throttle? Which twist one? throttle is right here. Okay, and then what's the pedal assist? Pedal assist is when you turn it on. Oh, okay. So it will always be in pedal assist if yes. you turn it on? Yes. Okay. So, and if you don't want it in pedal assist, you just turn don't it on. Don't turn it off. Gotcha. So I'm going to move this bell. Okay. I'm going to raise the seat. I'm just going to make a few adjustments. Okay. Just in uh, manual power? I, I, oh, I turned on. You turned on the pedal system? Yeah. Okay. Went fine. Good. Now these are advertised as being able to fold up. They weigh about 40 pounds. And we're going to see if it fits in the back of the Jeep. Let's see how that works. So I'm going to see it all the way down. There we go. Okay, and that goes down. And there's the space. And indeed it does. Could we fit two, do you think? I think it would be pretty easy to fit two. And here's how they fit. Did take the seats off, just so they don't get dinged up. But they both fit really, really well in there. By being able to put them in the back of the Jeep, first of all, they'll be secure. And second of all, they'll just stay there until we need them. And there we won't have to really manage them or move them around at all. So at this point, these, these little bikes solve the transport and security and management issues. All those things that were really bugging us about, um, about regular bikes. bikes yeah. It's like a little it's runabout. It's like a runabout. I so mean, we're it, hoping that because they're small, we'll be able to use them more frequently. They go about 15 to 16 miles an hour, top speed, which is way more than I want to go. 
and um, they their range is about 15 miles on one battery charge. As far as actually recommending them, we really can't right now. Um, yeah, we're still in the process of, of trying them out and seeing if they really solve the problem for us, but we think they will. Right. We think it's, it's, it looks like a better solution than what we've had in the past. Exactly. So in a couple of months, we will, um, we will get back to you on that. We'll let you know how, how we feel like they do, how they hold up, uh, likes, dislikes, that sort of thing. So um, if you haven't already, be sure and subscribe. And click that uh, bell to get notified and give us a thumbs up. And don't forget, we're getting ready for our next big adventure. Season three will be coming up. We're going to be talking more about that in the next couple of videos. And so uh, until then, Restless Friends, you take care. Bye.